Hello YouTube, this is Random View Guy 155. Well, I'm gonna show you some of my new mock Lego cars here. Well, if you look at the truck, it looks the same, not the same. It looks kind of like the the helicopter transporter. Couldn't get it right, but well, I had the stickers from it on there, so it makes it look like it and all that. It has the uh, set number for the license plate and all that there. CJ7686. Yeah. If you look that up, you'll find the helicopter transport. And you know, those two cars in the front are two different coupes. One's a hatchback, the other one's just a coupe. You can see the guys by them, so you know what the drivers are and all that. You can. Look at for a minute or two. You adjust it to it. Yeah. Well, here I'll show you the first coupe. Get this guy out of the way. So I'm saying. Well, see. You can tell it's a hatchback, slanted back. Just right here. You got two. You got a light here, and two stoplights here. It's just like the convertible, but different. See, and it has the hood piece that used to be here, I moved it up here because that was the only thing I could make the roof out of and all that so I just made my own hood here you can see if you look in front of it it kind of gives it an aggressive look and it's just like it kind of see it's turn signals here yeah okay, set that aside set the guy right here. Yeah. let's go into the second coupe the regular coupe see it looks just like the police car, but totally different in many ways. See, it has two roof pieces here, one in the front, one on top, and then the new Lego piece with only two studs on it. So, one by four with only two studs and all that. See, it looks just like it and everything, but the gray wheels. I got a bunch of these bricks from the Lego uh, police dog set. Yeah, that's where I got the front piece because it's a new one and the gray wheels. And then back here, see, so you got it, one antenna here, just the normal back end with a different front end. Looks because I made it so it looked just like the convertible in many ways. See it? Looks just like the convertible in, in a bunch of ways, but it's different. There's no seat in it because I, I didn't do it like over here where you could fit a guy and have a hat on. Oh, I made this one bigger, but I didn't I didn't have enough pieces to make that one bigger. So yeah. Now let's just move on to the truck here. So, so this is side over here. Yeah. So you got the original minifigure to the Lego um, car haul hauler truck. So, this right here is the number, uh, the second one, not number two, but the second one and all that, see, normal guy, I'm going to probably take off the hat, put a different hat on there, because where I live it's getting warmer out, so take that off, do something else with it, yeah, then you can see a bunch of change in it, the bumper's different, all the stuff is right here, and there's a gas tank on this side. Turn it around, around to the front. See, it looks just like the front bumper on the Lego helicopter transporter and everything. Yeah. yeah. Fix this real quick. Yeah. This right here kind of blocks the door, but uh, I just move it like that. And on this side here. So you got a gas tank here. Yeah. I moved up a bunch of stuff. I moved the wheels up one more. You could tell. And here's the underneath of it. A bunch of pieces. See, this right here is a different piece. You can see the holes. This right here is the big, the original piece that was on there. And everything. So, yeah, it's a lot different. See, right here you got, you got this. One by six here, holding on to the things that 
like do the wheels and all that, then you got it back here too. Yeah. And then you can see. Right here, you got the same things, but right here, it has the set number of the Lego helicopter transporter set and everything. Yeah. Most of it has to be orange pieces because I ran out of some pieces. Yeah. I, fill, I filled in a bunch of gaps and all that. There was a couple gaps here in the front, but I fixed them when I was making it because I had moved the tires forward and everything. Because I lost the instruction book I was building, I just did it by memory, but I messed it up. And then, well, I did it by it because I looked up on Lego.com and found instructions for it. Yeah, I have the box and everything still, I think. I don't know what it is, but. Yeah. See, it looks just like that, but. Yeah. Yeah, let's get back to the truck. Man. Yeah, then, see. You got the engine here, like normal. And you got all your small tools in the box, toolbox. You got this right here so you can carry any extra tools if you have to. I'd, I'd normally use it for carrying dynamite, <laughs> just for fun and all that, playing with friends with it, yeah. And then, if you haven't noticed, on this side here, that it looks like this right here is one big piece. It is not one big piece. Tell me that right now. There's not one big piece. Now right there is two pieces put together. But this right here is holding them together. And it's stuffed up to the bed. But the other piece is stuffed to here. This right here is just stuck to the bed. Probably haven't even noticed it. But move this here. Remove it. Remove it and then push down on it. It should come off, but it's not one to come off. So right there. <clears throat> yeah, see. So there's a gap in there that just covers, covers up that gap, really. Let me stick back on there. It put the bricks there because that right there was there. Because it's like that. The bed's kind of weak there. Kind of sucks, but no, it still works. I just put two all my twos here to hold the bed in place, and then this right here to hold it in place too. It works really well. It does the same deal and everything, but just different features. Everything, yeah. That all the all my Lego cars and everything here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that there is my new my cars. Yeah. Well, uh, this is Random View Guy 155. Sign out. See you later, YouTube.